Well, hello, greetings everybody. Uh, welcome to the Simpsons Tapped Out live stream. Saturday the 15th, one day after Valentine's Day. And of course our cities and our towns and our Springfields are full of hearts and love and um, all the rest. Uh, let me bring you across to my uh, beautiful little face cam right here. Um, and we'll head straight on into Tapped Out. Uh, for those of you that are the, uh, the cat lovers amongst you, uh, Mr. Chips is just about visible over my shoulder. And no doubt at some point he will get attacked by... Um, <laughs> no doubt he will some, soon get attacked by um, the other cat. And uh, there'll be some sort of fight that will go on behind me for your, for your viewing pleasure, quite frankly. Um, and so, um, today is Planes and Trains. Um, I announced that a few, uh, few days ago. Um, um, over on tappedout.co.uk, um, but I also, um, but I also um, told you a little bit about it last week because I was so inspired um, by some of the cool, the, the cool design we had last week from Toxic Shark. So I'm going to head over straight away and remind us um, what we saw. So today's not not so much a um, a, speci a specific building so much as a specific idea. We're taking this idea of planes and trains and uh, just kind of going with it and seeing uh, what we can get. Um, I don't know how you guys are doing in the uh, the Valentine's Day quests. Um, it's lovely to see so many of you here. I see Connor, I see V, I see Joe, I see Jamie, I see Bilbo, I see Dibdove, I see the Brick Lord. Um, and of course, thank you very much to um, our mods, uh, Bishy and Laura um, in here at the moment. Um, lovely to see so many of you uh, regulars come back, coming back here on a uh, on a regular basis. Remember, of course, if you want to chat in the, if you want to chat during the stream, um, your email will have to be verified, um, but just because we don't want any nasties coming in and uh, spoiling um, the show for us. Um, Joe, um, I, I always check the uh, the threads, and if I see designs I like from the threads, I, I will feed them. So I'll ask, please don't ask me during the stream, because um, I do all my preparation work before the whole um, thing um, begins. Um, I agree with you, V. I think the brightness is really high on the iPad. So let me see if I can, uh, if that's something that I have done. Uh... No, that doesn't seem to have changed much. But, you know, I, I agree that the brightness is pretty high on the iPad. Um, but I don't know how or why, and I'm not sure if there's anything I can do to fix that. Let me just try and plug in it, and let's see what we get. Um, that's probably not going to change very much at all, but it might just uh, um, improve our connection. Yes, I agree. I will try and do something with it. Now, while I'm just fixing, I'm trying to fix that out a little bit, um, let me tell you about a little feature that I've been trying out on the, um, the channel for... Um, uh, about the last half week or so. Now, I love watching you guys chat, and I love um, hearing all the things you got to say and kind of laughing along with you guys, but sometimes I miss kind of the questions um, because there's loads of things um, that you guys are saying, there's loads of kind of things going on, and sometimes I just kind of miss it because the questions fly past so, f fly past so fast. I'm just um, going to unplug my connection to the iPad. There we are for you all to see. My camera is not available, and there's the top of my head for you to enjoy. Um, yeah, so sometimes I kind of miss your guys' kind of questions um, and things you kind of want me to respond to, to kind of directly. Now, I'm still not going to promise I'm going to answer every question. In fact, I'll say it right now, I'm not going to answer every question. But what I've done is I have put something together that hopefully makes it um, a bit easier for me to see um, your questions separate from just like the regular general kind of chitter-chatter. Now, um, all you need to do to just make it come out a bit more kind of... Um, uh, um, kind of obviously for me is to start your question with the word exclamation mark um, question. So, for example, supposing um, you wanted to ask me something like, you know, what's your favourite Simpsons character? Then all you type into the chat is exclamation mark question space. What is your favourite Simpsons character? Um, question mark. And then that will appear on a different space on my screen, and hopefully um, I will be able to see it. Um, just a little bit better um, than um, than I have done before. And it also means, if you use that method, it also means I can actually put your question up on the screen um, while I'm answering it as well. Um, and like I said, I won't answer every question. If it's a question I don't think is particularly interesting that other people might not want to listen to, um, then I won't necessarily put it up. Um, but, um, you know, if you've got a question you want to you want to ask me, um, you know, can we do a Simpsons? Can we do anything? You know, put, just start it with that word, exclamation mark, question, and um, I should be able to kind of put it back up on, I should be able to put it up on the screen um, for you. Actually, you know what? I've just realized what it is, the reason why it's looking really bright, it's because I played the room. <laughs> I played the room the other day, uh, and the room two was really, really dark. So I tell you what it is, it's probably that I 
<laughs> turn the brightness up for the room, and so I need to turn it back down for Simpsons. There you are. Does that look a little bit better? Um, does that look a bit better? So, for some example, Joe has just written um, exclamation mark question: um, Is this working? And I can now, through the power of magic, put that up on the screen like that, um, and I can say yes, it is working. So, if you've got any questions you want me to answer during the stream, just exclamation mark question space, and then put a load of uh, whatever you want after that, and hopefully I'll be able to see it a bit more kind of obviously. All right. Um, so, um, I've got something cool to show you. Do you remember? This guy, this is Injured and Flat Addy. Um, he has been through a bad time. Uh, those of you that have been fans of the channel for quite a while will know that um, he, I, I sat on him. And then we tried to uh, repair him by just blowing him up and kind of hoping he would stand. And then we actually tried to super glue him underneath, um, and that didn't work very well. Um, and so now he's kind of moved from being a, a, a kind of a fat adipose to kind of being our flat adipose. So he's kind of a thinny pose, really. But the good news is now... <laughs> we got a pair! Uh, Clary Pose got so fed up of me um, kind of moaning about all this kind of stuff that um, she, she's actually bought us a second one. So what we're going to do, um, don't worry, Flat Addy's not going anywhere, but what we're going to do, we're going to put a little bow on one of them, and one could be little Addy Pose, and one could be little Clary Pose. So I've got my little family now, there we go. Mwah. And uh, so it's quite cool. So um, when, once we've kind of like sorted out all the cats and stuff, we'll probably find somewhere to kind of put those little guys. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> Have you ever seen anything as cute? I'm not sure I have. Um, although this one is kind of weird. Like his skin texture is kind of weird. Like he kind of he's arrived and he's obviously they're like stress toys. You're supposed to be able to squeeze them and stuff. Although not not too hard. Um, but he's kind of sticky. It's kind of weird. Like you've you've got finished squeezing him and you're a little bit more stressed than when you started because you you're kind of covered in addy goo. Yeah. Anyway. I've been mattering about nothing for so long that we we've we have moved on. Anyway, if you're watching this um, live on Twitch.tv, thank you so much for joining me on a Saturday night. I can see your names here. I can see you um, asking me questions. I can see you guys getting excited about the adipose being here. Uh, welcome, Wolfman uh, has just made it, and obviously we've got Kay, we've got Child, uh, loads of the regulars are here, um, but. Um, uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, my first question, of course, has to be, you know, where the hell were you? But I'm so glad that you've taken the time to uh, come and watch the show um, a little bit later, and I hope you have a good time as well. So, before we get talking about planes and trains, of course, we do have to get past um, the important matter of um, spinning the wheel. Now, you long-time viewers will know that I hate this wheel. I hated it over Christmas, and I hated it over Valentine's as well. I now have um, several trains, which is actually going to be quite useful, as we'll probably see a little bit later, and um, loads of copies of the things that I don't want, and just a few things that I haven't. So here we go for today's rather irritating spin of something I already have. Off we go! Yes, it's something I already have! Well, what a completely unexpected development for me to get something I already have from the Wheel of Love. I wouldn't have seen that one coming. Would you have seen that one coming? I would never have seen that coming. That never happens and it isn't irritating at all. How far am I away from another one? 80, I'm quite far off. Okay, so I won't, I won't bore you with me just kind of collecting hearts and things like that. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Um, now, for those of you um, that have also not been here before, I need to do something very important, which is this. Which is to go live. The vaults are open, and everyone who is here live today is now earning Addy Gold. You earn one gold every five minutes you are watching, and if you stay all the way to the end, I give you a little bonus as well, and sometimes you get extra bonuses when I win things or get very excited or eat chocolate or, or whatever. Oh, and if I play any commercials, um, then uh, if you stay till the end of the commercial, then you get some bonus Addy Gold as well. You can spend Addy Gold um, on um, on-screen messages. You can spend Addy Gold on... Um, oh! In fact, here we have an on-screen message. Uh, Laura says, Hello everyone, and welcome to the fat cell to all newbies. Indeed, welcome to the fat cell. Yeah, if you get 50 out of gold, you can put your uh, message on the screen live while we're going. Thank you, Laura, for demoing that little one for us. Uh, you can also um, buy a, a, a name color um, for the on-screen chat, the one that's just right below me here. Uh, everyone is in white by default, um, but if you spend 30 out of gold, you can rent a color for a month. You can also uh, enter giveaways. I gave away a... Um, Oh, a new follower. How exciting. Thank you, Shroom123. Uh, um, we also, I gave away a copy of Speedrunners last week um, in a giveaway. Um, and of course, we will be using Addy Gold a bit, little bit later to decide who gets shown on tonight's screen. Because you know um, that we, from now on, we always like to show uh, one of you, you guys' um, um, 
uh, towns offer as well. Okay, so let's get started on planes and trains. Let's remind ourselves why we're doing this. We are doing this because of the awesomeness of Toxic Sharks um, City. Thank you, Black Ops uh, 1403, for following the channel. I really appreciate your support. Um, do we hit over a thousand this week for the first time? Um, on my, my Twitch channel was growing extremely slowly um, for, for about a couple of months, and I have to confess, I was actually thinking about giving up because it really wasn't going anywhere. But over the last um, probably about a month, it has really turned around. Um, I'm now a Twitch partner. Um, I have been on the front page of Twitch once, and that really is down to you guys. Um, that really is down to you guys uh, coming in, um, watching the shows, liking it, following it, telling your friends, retweeting it. Um, so thank you so much. I really appreciate um, your support and you being here. And there's often now people actually in the channel just when the show isn't going on, which is great. You know, just we're just kind of nattering and you know chatting about whatever. But normally while I'm working on my little Addy bot and changing him and things like that. Uh, so here we go. This was what um, made. Um, this is what made uh, us do planes and trains um, this week. This is Toxic Shark's um, amazing um, airport design. He took the up, up and buffet and uh, man and turned it into a proper airport. And by lining up the other decorations carefully, by lining up roads and cones and, and kind of putting grass over the sign and all that kind of stuff, it doesn't look like a restaurant anymore. It doesn't look like a gimmicky building. It really looks like the airport. We use the, uh, the, the collider here with a signpost in front to hide what it is. We have the ambulance, we have the traffic cones going either side. Lovely use of the snow plow there, kind of there to clean the runway. Um, lots of the Channel 6 objects going around the side. Uh, the, the, the kind of the trees lining the runway along with the kind of metal fences next to it. Um, but if you remember, we saw this last week, and I know loads and loads of you um, were gonna were just like, oh my god, this is amazing. And I agree. I think it is a, a stupendous design and has absolutely... Um, uh, uh, inspired tonight's stream uh, for planes and trains because obviously we had not only do we have the uh, the plane um, in the Valentine's Day update we also had the train uh, the little love train that came along as well and we're going to see a bit later on what some people have um, done with that now let's um, get cracking on um, answering some of your questions um, Le Frere 1999 has asked um, what iPad do I have um, I've just got a standard iPad 2 uh, nothing it's not uh, hasn't got a retina display or anything like that it's the iPad 2 and I haven't even bothered upgrading mine to the latest um, iOS because um, I haven't really seen any reason to yet like no one's given me any reasons yet why I should actually want I iOS 7 so it seems like a huge download and everything seems to be working um, just as it is so I'm just happily kind of sitting along sitting along doing that all right Okay, so um, that was our uh, first um, um, airport. And then what I did is I went, as I normally do, I went onto the various forums. I went out onto Tapped Out Code UK. I went onto uh, TSTO forum. I went onto the official EA forum. And I said, hey guys, I am making um, planes and trains this week. Show me what you got. And I had some people message me publicly and some people message me um, privately. Show me their designs. And I'm going to show you a whole bunch of them over the next um, 45 minutes or so. Now, in a minute, I am. Uh, we're going to have a uh, we're going to have a, a raffle, and uh, the winner of that raffle will have their city featured um, live at the end of the show. We've done it the last couple of two, couple of weeks running; it's gone really, really well. Um, oh, there's an Addy Gold for you. Well done! Um, and um, if you want to enter that raffle, you'll need some Addy Gold, but you're gaining Addy Gold right now for a chance of winning. Um, and of course, you will need space to add me as a friend on. Um, uh, on, on the Simpsons tap out because what we'll need to do is if you win the raffle you'll need to add me I'll need to accept during the stream and then we'll go and visit your city at the end and I'll kind of tell you some of the things I like and some of the things uh, that I think maybe you could improve now Phoenix Noble um, asked um, is there a minimum level to get showed absolutely not no if you're level 5 level 10 level 38 whatever I'll, sh I'll show whatever and obviously one of the things we'll say is you know as your city grows it will improve but I don't know if you even if it's a low level city um, then uh, you know you'll still have some things that you can have decorated the Simpsons house, the crust, excuse me, the crusty burger, etc., etc. Now, um, this is um, uh, this is um, Phoenix Noble. I just asked you a question. Why are you putting it up there again? <laughs> Um, this is the city of um, Aza Sophia. Aza Sophia uh, messaged me over on the um, the Tapped Out forum, and uh, she's put together a lovely design for the airport. We're going to do airports first, so we're going to go planes, 
and then drains and she's put together a really nice little design here and there's a few things that I really uh, want to kind of point out um, in this particular um, design here um, and first of all obviously we've got the plane it's the up up and buffet now if you haven't got the up up and buffet sorry but it is a premium item I think it's 90 donuts which is expensive but not that expensive actually for a very cool building and actually an airport is a very very distinctive um, feature um, in 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 a, in a in a city so I think it's one that's probably worth splashing out for because you know as you if you're, as you're going to go around someone's town if you kind of see you know a shop and a uh, an office building and a house it's kind of more of the same but an airport really really stands out now look at this Look at this. Do you recognize this building over here? This wonderful little aircraft hangar. This um, quite clearly, um, you know, airporty building. But of course, it's not, is it? This is um, the the ice rink from the other day. You know, from the from the from the Christmas expansion. And for lots of you that have now got that ice rink and thinking, well, what do I do? Do I keep it? It's no longer uh, it's no longer Christmas. Do I put it away? And um, here's your answer. Here is your answer. Take that ice rink, grab a load of trees, stick the trees in front of the sign that tells you that it's an ice rink, and you have just got yourself. I think a really good looking aircraft hangar. Don't you agree? Don't you agree? We've got ourselves a really, really um, good looking um, aircraft hangar here. And then to go to carry on with the design, obviously we've got a, a different style of runway here using kind of fences and walls. Um, I think I possibly slightly prefer uh, what Toxic Shark did, but of course it's it's about individuality. If you just copy someone's design, you haven't done it yourself. So it, it's, a, it's a cool alternative design. Um, various kind of car parks and bins and things. And you always have lots of kind of stuff at, um, at uh um, at airports where people kind of need to be eating and stuff. So we see we've kind of got some kind of generic decorations around here. Uh, but the other thing I really, really like about this particular design um, is... Um the other thing I really like about this particular design is the fact that it hides the up, up and buffet um, really well by putting, I think that's a gulp and blow, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that's a gulp and blow um, behind the up, up and buffet. Um, thank you FIFA Duty for following the stream, I appreciate um, you, you, your support in the channel. Um, I think that's a gulp and blow because the problem is with the airplane is you've got the airplane, here's my hands, you've got the airplane and then you've got this sign that is blatantly a restaurant right next to it so you've got to find some way of dealing with that and you can't really hide it so you've just got to try and make it not look like it's part of the plane in some way and I think this gulp and blow um, really works uh, well okay I think it works really really well because um, by putting the gulp and blow behind it it makes it look like the up up and buffet is actually part of the gulp and blow and that's the restaurant that's sitting right next to it um, so I think that's a really nice way of um, hiding um, uh, the, that particular part of the plane. Because that's the one thing that holds the plane back, isn't it? The fact that it's got this big sign next to it. And I think that as a Sophia has had a brilliant idea um, with the, the hangar slash ice rink and a really good way of hiding that sign as well. So if you guys uh, would like to give some um, ratings for this particular design or ratings for the ideas, um, you know, give it some marks out of tens. I know you guys are always lovely and kind and, and sweet about these designs, but tell me, uh, guys, what you think. And while, um, while you are... Um, uh, doing that, I shall um, answer some uh, questions for you. Uh, the Brick Lord asked, "What is Addy Gold?" Um, Addy Gold, you gain one Addy Gold for every five minutes you're watching the stream. You can use it to buy ni uh, nickname colours just below here. You can use it to enter giveaways and lots of other things as well. But you're gaining it just by watching um, the channel. Okay, uh, let's have a look at. Uh, Jamie has asked, well actually then how do I buy things with Addy Gold? Now Addy Gold is still in beta, I only started it a couple of weeks ago, it's probably like three weeks ago now um, and um, I'm, I'm going to put together a full text document, I'll put it below the thing initially, um, but you, you can ask the mods and they'll probably help you out if you're interested for now but um, um, when, when it comes to the Addy Gold giveaway, uh, the, Addy, the Addy Gold raffle a little bit later, um, I, will, I will explain it in a, in a bit more detail um, at that point. Um, DevDove has said um, silly question, where do I get this game from? Um, it's free, free to play. Um, just head over onto um, either your, your Apple Store or your Android Store. Um, and you can even get it on Bluestacks as well, if you know what that is. And um, you can just grab yourself a copy of it completely free. Um, basically, in, in every city, there are some objects which you have to pay for with real money. And some objects which you can uh, just pay for with in-game currency. And so, But you can have a perfectly good-looking city um, without um, premium items. All right, hopefully that answers um, your question. Um, Joe, I've already said that I'm not going to show any more. Uh, I've already done my research about who I'm going to show, so please can you stop asking? Otherwise, um, I will ask the mods to um, make you stop asking. Mm -hmm. Let's go and have another look at another airport. All 
All right, then. Okay, so um, we're going to go and head over to Clerical Error. Now, Clerical Error, apart aside from it only seem to be existing from some sort of doctor's mistake um, many, many years ago, has put together quite a nice little um, creative um, design as well. Um, uh, starting, of course, with this lovely little kind of demonic um, figure on on his um, on his landing spot with the two laughing aliens um, right above it, which I think is a very cool way. In fact, I've noticed recently some people doing some really good stuff with their landing zones. I think having that whole, you know, that Christmas tree that made us, you, you know, you could move the Christmas tree around, around and people would land on that spot. Um, and I think... Um, that means I, th I think people have been kind of inspired by that to put things into the center of their town now the problem is is that the center of your town moves depending on how much land you've actually bought so you'll probably find that when you start to buy more stuff especially on the left the right hand side that your landing zone moves across but once you've got all the land you should be able to work out exactly where it is and if you want put something cool there you know some people put names there some people put pictures there some people put their favorite item of city there some people put little pictures of me there um, I know um, I know um, M has a little picture of me uh, you know when you wait where you kind of land um some people have like a, a link to their favorite kind of website written out and various things so there's loads of cool things um that you can kind of do um with that idea now here we are um down in um a clerical errors um city and i'm just lost his airport here it is here it is um clerical error has had a cynical oh my my voice just broke there clerical erica clerical erica Clerical Erica, that's a completely different person. That's the female version. Clerical Error, you need to find yourself a Clerical Erica and you need to get married because uh, it's clearly meant to be with um, with the names. Um, yeah, Clerical Erica has had a similar idea with the uh, the hangar, which is great. So it shows, if, if more than one person is using it, it shows what a great idea it is. But this is quite cool. Those flaming barrels we had from Christmas, which again, we're kind of thinking, well, you know... What do we do for it? Um, then, uh, what do we do with these items? He's brought them in as part of the airport. And, of course, an airport needs very distinctive lights, landing lights, to kind of bring those planes in. And I think these barrels work really, really nicely. Because um, they, they make you kind of go, well, what's this object here? Why are they all lined up? It makes you kind of look. And he's even found an interesting use for trash. He's used, he's used the, um, the white barrels as, like, the little white markers. Now, they're the kind of thing that if you zoom in too far, they just clearly look like barrels and it's like well why have you got barrels down the middle of the air airline or the air or the runway but then when you kind of zoom out again they kind of merge more into the the eye kind of just reads them as um uh uh, kind of little white lines and it works nicely now this item here can you guys help me out with the name of this one and um it's it's one of the restaurants isn't it i can't remember which one it is but it's, it's a free one and it comes along it's a restaurant um but it doesn't look really look like a restaurant i've always thought it would work quite nicely with the channel six building as kind of like an office block but it also works really nicely here um instead of the um the, the collider which toxic shark had as a kind of airport terminal building so it's, it's kind of like the the ice rink is the bit where all the aircraft is stored and then the um uh, the, the restaurant here is the bit that's then kind of used as the um uh, the is the is the bit where the kind of customers go and things like that nice little touches again we've got the um the ice uh plow around the mr plow around the back and we've got some fuel as well for the airport for the air for the uh the pilot the plane to to refuel i can't speak today for the plane to refuel and things like that and i can see you guys like the design as well we've got some 11s out of 11 nines out of 10s 10 out of 10s um some very very kind of uh you know co cool stuff like that even little things like the stop signs work really really nicely now he did tell me on the um on the uh on tapped out he cut it you Okay. Uh, he did tell me um, that the part of this design that is missing, I think, is a real shame because you see that little patch of brown um, right behind there. L L chemistry. Thank you. Is that is that the one? Uh, thank you, Cowbomb. Is that the one that um, the one I'm missing? Um, that little, that little patch of brown there is going to be the um, the sun sphere the sun sphere and of course um the sun sphere for me is one of those ones that's a bit like well do i really want it it's quite distinctive it's not really kind of a useful building like you don't kind of go oh, cool there's the sun sphere it's like well what do you really do with it but of course you put it next to an airport all of a sudden you have got some kind of um air traffic control tower you know it's a tall thin building with a big ball on top um, and you have got yourself a brilliant little air traffic control center um, to put behind your airport now obviously his hasn't finished building yet and he apologized in his little thing he said oh damn it takes three days to build or whatever it is um, and I think obviously you can clearly you can clearly see here that clerical error has got to build around the airport you know at the moment this is very off this is off off by itself it's all kind of you know stuck over to one side but I, th I think that um, air traffic controller idea could really could work very very nicely I might even be tempted to kind of put it over here um, in this corner so it kind of looks out across the airport but it will depend what you can kind of do um, 
down down the bottom. Um, Rhino Forever, you don't need to ask a question more than once. Once you have put X and Y question, it is on my screen. If I choose not to answer it, um, then, you know, that, that's that's just it but you don't need to type it more than once and in fact if you do type it more than once um uh, you're just overwriting your own question and kind of being a bit annoying so please just uh, just ask the question once and i'll and i'll get to them um if i if i think there's something i want to talk about all right um yes hannah we can see your chat and welcome to the stream i hope you're having a nice time it's nice to see so many of you here um as well okay i'm going to take a quick um sip of um, a drink um, i'm going to show you guys a very very exciting advert for 60 seconds and if you're still here when i get back some more planes and trains and i'll give you some bonus added gold for waiting so i will see you in 60. oh apparently there's no sound <laughs> Does that mean I need to do that whole monologue again? Damn it, that monologue was funny. I was, like, joking about chocolate and talking about Godfather impressions. Man. Yes, fine, 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 fine. Yes, I screwed up. I don't think it's a proper Addy stream unless we have at least one screw up um, per stream. So there was today's. Let's hope that was it. In fact, that brings me back to Small Blue Monkey's question. Um, Small Blue Monkey asked at the beginning of the stream, um, is your bot going to get flooded off today? Um, again today. Uh, for those of you that were on the... Um, the Doctor Who. For those of you that were on the uh, the Doctor Who um, stream on Thursday, um, I'd spent all week coding my bot, and I'm really pleased with it. As you can see, I love the fact that the questions appearing down here. You know, I love the Addy Gold stuff. I've been working really hard on it. And at the beginning of the Doctor Who stream, loads of people hit the follow button, which was amazing, and the bot just went. <laughs> And it flooded off like crazy, and it got banned. It actually got banned from Twitch for eight hours. And not only that, it didn't just ban my bot from Twitch, it actually banned me from Twitch as well. Luckily, I could still upload, so I could still do videos, but I couldn't even type as the adipose um, in the chat. It was very embarrassing. I, went, I kept going to congratulate people for winning giveaways and stuff, um, and it just kicked me off. <laughs> it just kicked me off. Um... Which was terrible, which was terrible. It was very, very embarrassing. Anyway, um, thank you for um, staying through the advert. And here, as your reward, is a couple of extra Addy Gold um, thrown your way. Um, a few of you have been asking, I can see in the various questions here, um, Apinio Heno has asked, how do I get Addy Gold to get things? Um, Dark Spy said, how do I get a logo for your name? You know, it's, it's all still in beta at the moment. I, when it's all ready and fully ready to go, I will put detailed instructions below the stream. You know, where you, where you see at the bottom with Addy Info and the schedule and things like that. I will put... Um, I will put the details there, okay? Don't worry about it for now. Um, the mods might help you if they've got some time, but don't worry about it otherwise. But there is some really, really, really... Um, cool stuff's coming. So I've still got this mini egg here. I'm trying to like, I'm trying not to sound like one of those people that eats on camera because I think it's quite disgusting when they do. And yet here I am stuck with some chocolate. So I'm going to mute my microphone for a second, this time on purpose, and just you guys can kind of watch me chew. And we're back. All right, we are heading over to. Oh, have I gone to the wrong layout? <laughs> there we go. Screw up number two. That better? Um, sorry, I've got like various layouts on my program here. Ones for PC games, ones for iPad stuff, ones for vertical iPad stuff, ones my desktop. And I clicked on the wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> um. Anyway. <coughs> anyway, this is um, Mockaby's uh, city. Um, Mockaby. Um, has really taken this idea of a landing zone to heart. You know, we were talking about landing zones a bit earlier in the stream. You know, how cool is this? It's like a vortex that leads all the way in with all these Simpsons um, uh, snowmen into this kind of spirals of trees and Valentine's Day's bushes. And right in the middle, you've got the black hole that came with the colander. Um, I keep want to say colander. I keep thinking like sieving vegetables. It's a collider um, thing that goes in the middle. I think it's an awesome awesome um landing zone i think in the f i think we might have to at some point in the future do a live show on landing zones what do you think because i think there's just so much so many possibilities with that so many possibilities of fun things to do we won't do it next week or the week after anything like that but just get that one going around your head a little bit um because it's something i would like to do in the future um because it because it is pretty cool it is pretty cool <laughs> Right, okay, so we're over here on Mockaby City. Mockaby is in the chat today, so hello, Mockaby. Um, in fact, um, 
In fact, one thing you know I should start doing, I should start, if, if I show off someone's town and they are actually in the stream, I should give them some bonus Addy Gold. I think that would be a really um, nice thing to do. So who have I? I've shown Toxic Shark. Is Toxic Shark here tonight? No, I can't see him. I've shown Azza Sophia. Are they here? Certainly not under the same name. Clerical Error is not here. So Mockaby, you are the first person um, that is actually here that I am showing off. So you, Mockaby, um, can have a bonus... Um, 10 Addy Gold, so thank you very much for, for sharing a design and turning up. Okay, so Mockaby, what have we got? Um, Mockaby has got... Oh, have I got confused here? I wanted to show planes first, but this might be a train. Because I just saw a train down the bottom. Oh no, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I knew there was a plane thing. Here we go. This is cool. This is really cool. So let me let me show you what we've got. Uh, I don't know what Mockaby's quite going on with the um, with the design here. This is this very kind of eclectic uh, mix of of of, te of 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 everything of everything. Like it, it doesn't feel like a kind of everyone else's city. There's something very kind of unique and individual going on here. But it but it definitely works in their head. And it's lovely when you start to pick out little details and things like this. So what we've got. We got the plane. We got the uh, the up, up and buffet. It's quite crowded back here, but we've got the little we've got the little wind socks at the back from the old whacking day promotion, which I think kind of works within airport. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be part of that design, but um, it's certainly something you could try and bring in. We've got some kind of missiles behind it, and of course we've got loads and loads of fuel for for the plane to kind of be um, um, for the plane to kind of be. Um, uh, refueled and things, and then we start to go along the runway, pass more fuel, and then of course, as all planes need to do, you go past the giant fish balloons, the symmetrical fish balloons with the uh, the lovely um, traffic cones, then the uh, the the Aztec symbol in the middle, which surprisingly works quite well in the airport. Like it's kind of one like one of those. Things, it's kind of like the plane goes on it. Because I was thinking what would be quite cool is to use that Aztec symbol in a train, because you know how um, some trains have to go on and then they go on that little turntable thing that used to be in Thomas the Tank Engine, and it kind of turns back round and. Um, and then, so I think it's quite it'd be quite a cool thing to put in a train, but it works in the airport here as well. And then look at this. This is really, really cool. We have got um, car parks and lanterns to make the actual airport runway, and it looks brilliant. It works so, so well um, that I think it really, really uh, does look like a runway. Again, we've got those flaming barrels there as well, and bizarrely, we've got um, uh, we've got Millhouse's mum there kind of having a little stitch on the runway, as you do, and uh, yeah, and then we just kind of carry on down to the end of the runway, and then look at this. Uh, I think, this, I'm not entirely sure if this is supposed to be like a solar, a solar panel or one of those barriers that you, you get at the end of the runway, but it works both ways. Um, you know, it's either like the child electricity or it's like something that if the plane goes too far you get this big kind of like blap as you kind of go into it um in, in some way um k sorry um that you're having you're struggling to watch tonight um I'm, I'm sorry to hear that um it's uploading fine on my end so it's either must be twitch or or something with your connection i'm afraid but um you know keep trying keep hitting refresh um or just watch the recorded show later i will upload it to youtube but i'm, I'm sorry you're having difficulties uh, and then look at this how cool is this as well um that the runway is then kind of carries on into the sea if that makes sense like not the runway itself but the idea that there's like a kind of a landing zone here for the plane um i love these these little stop signs here you know it's the kind of the plane's supposed to be coming in and these kind of hazard um, boards there um, to try and you know get the plane to stop if, it, if it's coming in at the wrong point or, or things like that but this is just such a detailed design with loads and loads of different ideas I mean the whole city like I said has got these loads of weird and wonderful ideas there but this this airport is really really um, nicely um, put together and I can see you guys here kind of saying you know that, it, that it, it's shummel amazing and uh, all sorts of things like that um, is uh, someone said Mr. Burns is there as well? Or was you running? Oh yeah, Mr. Burns running around uh, with with his dogs, trying desperately to um, not get knocked off the motorway there. So let, let's have some rating, some rankings for for Mockaby, please. Uh, marks out of ten. What do you think of this? Um, very detailed, unusual, but I think quite superb uh, design. Even down to billboards um, behind the. Um, uh, even down to billboards behind the little runway there, uh, which is fantastic. Okay, 
Now, um, for the last few weeks, this has worked, and we're going to try it again. Um, we have ha we have shown one of your cities live on screen um, at the end of the show. Uh, we're going to use the um, the same um, methods. Basically, you guys have got some Addy Gold, um, and I'm going to open a raffle, and you can buy tickets with your Addy Gold. The more tickets you buy, the more chance you've got at winning. Um, let's say 100 people buy tickets, one each, you've all got one in 100 winning. But, of course, if one person buys two tickets, then they've got uh, two in 100 winning, which is actually you won in 50 so you've just doubled your chances um, you can only buy as many tickets as Addy Gold as you have got and um, the way you buy a ticket in a minute which I haven't done yet thank you Jollybot for, for following um, the way you buy a ticket in a minute is you type exclamation mark raffle ticket all one word exclamation mark raffle ticket and um, then you put the number of tickets you want so if you want three tickets you type raffle ticket space three and you'll spend three Eddie Gold and you get three tickets. That's three chances to win um, versus um, everyone else. Um, if you're going to enter this, then make sure you have got space on your origin um, to add me. So you haven't got 100 friends. Um, and you can add me straight away. Um, during this, you need to add my my um, login, which will be um, which is the Adipose, um, and you'll need to do that kind of straight away, so I can be, I can find you by the end of the um, end of the show. Okay, so I am going to. Um, start the raffle there with a big, big boom. Okay, you can now buy your raffle tickets. Um, remember, you can only buy up to the amount of... Um, oh, thank you, the Brick Lord. Lovely to have a follower. Um, you can now um, buy your raffle tickets up to the amount of added gold you have. Um, however, um, if you put if your number is higher than your added gold, the bot will just ignore you. Um, and we should the bot should reply in a bit. I hope it doesn't flood off, um, but it should reply in, in um, eventually. But give it time because it has to work through a queuing system. One of the things I've done to stop it kind of flooding off um, is is that I have, um, yeah, one of the things I've done to stop it flooding off is I've slowed down the responses that it gives. So in theory, it should eventually say, yes, this is the number of tickets you have bought, um, but it should, it could even come like 30 seconds, maybe even a minute later. Um, so don't, just don't buy it more than twice, because if you buy it twice, you've just you've just spent even more added gold. So just buy it once and just trust that the bot saw it, and um, that'll move on. Now, while you guys are buying tickets, I just want to talk to you for a little second um, about Tapped Out Friends, which is a site I discovered um, the other day. Well, I say site, it's a, it's it's part of Facebook. Um, loads of you guys are always kind of saying, you know, add, um, add me. Um, oh, thank you, thank you very much, Kyle, for following the uh, for following the channel. Um, loads of you guys uh, have, have have said, you know, can you can you add me? Can I, you know, I need um, I need um, people to add on my on my Simpsons games. I need neighbours, all that kind of stuff. And um, the person that owns the the tap Sim the Simpsons tapped out friends. If I bring you guys across, yes, Jamie, we can see your message. Uh, the person that owns tapped out friends, who is uh, Wolfman, who is actually actually in the chat this evening, uh, Wolfman1980, welcome, um, has been nice enough to kind of promote my videos um, on his little um, uh, page here, so I am I am being nice enough to uh, return the favour. Uh, so the Simpsons Tapped Out um, Friends um, is, a, is a place where basically you can go and you can... Um, um, put your name down. There's a, there's a daily update um, where you can add your friends and you can um, uh, you know find people that are, you're willing to add you as well. I'm going to post the link in the channel. Um, so if you're interested, then you can. Um Oh, thank you very much, Showrub, for following. Oh, Showrub, hey, nice to see you again, mate. I, I haven't featured, I haven't uh, f featured your town for ages, but I remember you used to use, look, use your town all the time in some of my designs. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in, get, if you if you need more friends on your tapped out um, town, then do head over um, to uh, Facebook Tapped Out Friends. Um, it's run by Wolfman, who's currently in the chat, and um, there are loads of people on there. Over fifteen thousand people um, linked up there um, who are looking for friends. All right, great little, great little page on Facebook, and um, go and have a look. Okay, so um, we have ha we are been having our little raffle here. Let's see if I can find out how many tickets we have got. Um, looks like we have one hundred and thirty six tickets bought. I'm going to close the raffle in about um, thirty seconds. Um, so if um, you are 
um, think in two minds about whether to buy or whatever you've got about 30 seconds to kind of make your decision and while you are doing that I'm just going to show one last airport and um, we are going to go and check out um, Corky City now Corky was our lovely winner last week I seem to remember um, if you have if you've only just joined the channel welcome my name is the Adipose this is the um, this is the Simpsons tapped out we're in the middle of a raffle to have your city shown live um, during the stream and we are talking about planes and trains um, today and we're just going to go over and see Corky's, I think it's Corky's, apologies if I'm wrong, Corky's um, Airport, um, which is quite a cool one as well. There's been loads of no design. Do I still have Corky on here? Yeah, we go. There he is. Um, there's been loads and loads of good designs, and I have got some great trains to show you later. Okay, don't just think this is all about planes. This is planes and trains, and we have got some absolutely great um, trains. Now, let me just steal some Valentines while I'm here. I think it was Corky, unless I'm getting confused. I have been confused before. As I whiz around in desperation on live TV, wondering where, what on earth I'm looking for. I'm sure I came here early, and I found myself an airport. If not, I've just managed to confuse myself, and I'm wasting your time. If I'm wasting your time, I do apologize. I thought, I swear I saw an airport. Am I going mad? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes, indeed. Um, Corky um, was the one uh, who he said he was. He was quite openly said, you know, I am really inspired um, by Toxic Shark, and um, I loved I loved his ideas, and you know, he, he's kind of put a lot of it to kind of together. But um, he, he posted this up quite soon after the um, the stream we did um, last week, using that variation of the the restaurant there instead of the. Um, uh, the restaurant there instead of the uh, collider ideas works really really nicely but you know you know you've got a good design from toxic shark when you can kind of see you know actually just now no, this is probably as good as it gets although however um, hopefully after tonight's stream you've seen other ways that you can improve um, your airport design I mean I, I think possibly taking out some of these buildings here and putting in the ice rink would work really really nicely as kind of a hanger for the planes and extending the design out that way would work really nicely but I think Os Oscar's obstacles um, works really really nicely um, as well and and um, as do the traffic cones and everything. I think it's just a really, really good, solid airport design. So and it's, and it's a pleasure to show off Corky City um, once more as well, um, as we I think we came to his um, last week. And in fact, um, as Corky is here and I have shown off his town, I shall um, gift him a few more Addy Gold as well. Now, I think, of course, it is time um, for us to stop our little raffle. So if you haven't bought tickets yet, your time is... Okay, Kay, it sounds like you're having problems buying tickets. Um, I will just quickly check. Um, oh, we've got loads and of people buying tickets today, uh, which is great. Uh, yeah, Kay, it would appear there are no tickets here, I'm afraid. I don't know if you typed something wrong or whether... Um, Twitch is very awkward sometimes about whether um, it uh, lets you kind of type the same thing more than once. Um, so um, apologies. Um, not, I, don't, I don't know, um, to be honest. Um, oh, Mr. Chips has returned behind. Good, 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 good. Right, well, we need to get this um, raffle on the way. Now, I have, for those of you that didn't see, uh, haven't seen me during the week, I have tried to put together um, something that I think is quite cool. Um, which is this. So in theory now, all of your tickets are kind of going through on the bottom hand side of the screen there. It's just to go round and round and round and round. And obviously the more tickets you've bought, um, the more times your name is going to be appear, or the more often, the more regularly um, your... Um, your uh, uh, name is going to be appearing up on the screen, but uh, the idea is it kind of goes round and round and round and round and round, and then I press the stop button and it picks the next ticket and it goes bam, and um, that is going to be um, our particular winner. But I think it's quite cool because it means all you guys that have entered um, get to see um, your name come up on the screen and stuff. So I've, I hope you can see that I've been working quite hard on this bot to kind of keep it, keep keep things kind of interesting for you guys, and. Um, you know, try and get you guys involved in the show as much as um, possible. If we had, um, if you, if some of you guys had problems entering, um, if you guys can, uh, uh, you know, mess message me afterwards or speak to the mods, and we'll take a note of your problems and we'll try and sort them for next time. Um, obviously, I don't want to kind of have individual conversations kind of during this during the kind of stream, but um, you know, do send me a message either through Twitch or tapped out at Tell me exactly what you typed, what the problem was, and I'll try and look. I'll try and look into it. Um, show rub. I may have deleted you, mate, just because I haven't seen you for ages. 
Um, but I'm so glad that you're here. And if you're still designing and your city's still awesome, then we'll see about add adding you back on, mate. Okay, so here we go. Tonight's winner, which will hopefully be featured at the end of the show, is... Oh, yeah! Brettus Lettuce is tonight's um, winner. Congratulations, sir. Well done. Um, you have managed to get yourself um, into um, our um, Simpsons, um, our Simpsons show. So, Brettus, what I need you to do is to t is to say is to tell me what your origin is. Um, um, you need to tell me what your origin is. You need to add me, and then I will um, I will accept, and I will show you towards um, the end of the show tonight. Make sure you um, uh, make sure you type your origin correctly, so I can see it now, and then go and add the adipose, not the adipose TV, the adipose um, on your origin. Now, shall we talk trains? I have some cool trains to show you. Um, uh, because it's planes and it is trains. And we're going to head over to Kay's city. I know Kay is having lots of problems with her um, stream tonight, which is sorry to hear, because she uh, she told me earlier that she has been she has spent a huge amount of money um, on, uh, on her love park for me, which unfortunately my wife heard and came running in and started beating me about the head with um, uh, various uh, sharp objects. Um, or certainly with her eyes, um, she did. <laughs> um, but um, Kay has spent a load of donuts. Uh, donuts? D donuts. Um, on um, on her love park. We're going to head down here. There's loads of stuff. This isn't just about trains. It's about the whole park. It is fantastic. It starts over here um, with this um, really, really cool um, uh, Madame Chow's, which is obviously part of the Valentine's thing. We've got some lovely kind of places for you to eat and things like that. Some beautiful um, 3D hedging with steps and things like that. And we've got some trees. We've got some um, flowers um, and all that, all that kind of stuff. Then we have the word love. Um, made out of newspaper decorations because they're red um, with a little heart, which is very, very romantic. But, of course, what we're interested in, of course, is the train because um, someone discovered the other day, and I've probably just forgotten who it was. It might have been Ipenio. I could be wrong. I'm not sure who it was. Um, Brettus, I haven't seen your origin yet, mate. Um, and you need to tell me your origin and you need to add me. Um, the, uh, you, yeah, there um, we have got this wonderful train track in here. Basically, the way you do it is you get some uh, squid port fencing and you get some squid port benches and you buy probably about a gazillion of them. And then you um, put the trains, go, and then you put them all together and you end up with a train track. And then with the love train, the love train that came out um, this week, you can actually put together a proper train line. It's really, really cool. Um, and since um, I think it was Epinia, you know, um, put that together. Loads of people have been kind of following that design. I've basically I kind of challenged them um, to um, basically I kind of challenged them to uh, put together a good little train line. And what we've got here is Kay has put the train um, going around her um, love park. And so you can kind of see here it comes down from Madame Chow's and it goes chuff 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 chuff. And then we've got our um, um, our our um our first train and then chuff, 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 and then our second train and we've got the kind of the little walking area here that goes into the little maze and things with the Valentine's Day design in the middle. Love the maze, have to say. A little bird bath works beautifully in the corner, and then the train carries on, chuff, 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 chuff. Um, with this lovely kind of romantic archways around the side and um the cupids and things like that. So you can really kind of stroll around and have this lovely little um walk or train ride that kind of around. It's very, very kind of scenic and um I just think it's gorgeous. It is a brilliant, brilliant um, love park. It, yeah, I mean, it's, it's wonderfully over the top as well. It's probably up there with that um, that Howard's Flowers design um, that we had, <laughs> the Howard's Flower design that we had last week. Um, but uh, it's uh, really, really, really good. And and I think the thing about the Valentine's Day decorations as a whole is they are over the top and they are ridiculously pink. So let's embrace it. Let's put it all together. Let's put together a love train in a love park with the word love next to it, next to your love seat, next to your love fountain, next to your love bushes, and get lost in the love maze because we love it. All right. Brilliant design. Thank you very much, Kay. Um, sorry to hear that your stream is not uh, working so well for you today, but if you can hear me, thank you. And um, here's some gold for your trouble. All righty. Uh, let's head over. Let's look at some more trains quickly. We've got about nine minutes left of the show. If I don't manage to show them all today, um, then... Um, 
I will um, head off. Yeah, can we get some ratings for K, please? Sorry, I forgot to say. If we can get some ratings for K's Love Park, that would be brilliant. Um, as I quickly show us, as I quickly show off a few more designs. Now, obviously, I said I and we initially got this idea from Ebenyenyo. Um, so we better go and show off his city, really, if we're going to um, show his, if we're going to talk about his, it being his ideas um, in the first place. And I seem to be very nearly out of water. Okay, so this is Epeñeño, and I love this. This is just, this is just superb. In fact, let me let me start down from this end because I think it goes fantastically. Now, I think what's lovely about this train idea is that the the train could literally go around your whole city. Now, for those of you that are thinking about, you know, it's about time for a redesign. It's about time for me to start over. It's about time for me to, you know, put together my city again. I'm so much a better designer than I was before. Well, just stop for a minute, and just before you start putting together that design, think about this. Why don't you put a train line going around it? Because it looks really good. It looks really effective. You put roads around it. Why not put a train line too? Now, what Ipeniano has done is his train line goes all the way from the top to the bottom um, of his um, town. Just in a completely straight line. Um, now, obviously, he, he could have it round if he wants. But it looks brilliant. Look at this. It's right by the beach. And up it goes. It's got a road on one side, which I think looks brilliant. Because in the olden days, well, maybe, well probably even still in, in many places of the world, um, you have roads next to train lines. They either go the same direction, the same way, and that's what he's got here. It looks fantastic. Then the trees, obviously, like rail, railway style, and there's a little bit of separation between that and the other buildings. And there's our train. And I must confess, I don't actually know what that object is behind it. I think it's some kind of stall. Um, but it's the, obviously the carriages, and it looks brilliant. <laughs> it looks brilliant. It looks really, really good. And we carry on going back, and we've got, um, you know, it kind of merges into the other uh, designs in his um, city. And then we've got our second train. Now, I wasn't too sure here if the courthouse was supposed to be like a train station um, or whether it's just a courthouse with an interesting idea behind it. But it, it's kind of built up around it. So I did wonder if that was supposed to be a train kind of at a train station. And the idea is that's where you kind of um, embark and disembark and things like that. I'm not, not too sure, but it does, it, it, it normal, almost works if that's what it's supposed to be um, as a train station. If not, then it's still a courthouse and I'll, and I'll shut up. But um, nice idea, because I do think a train needs a station especially if you're going to have it going for a very very um kind of long time and then look at this look at this we've got a level crossing how cool is that because obviously the problem is if your train goes all the way across if your train goes all the way across then of course you people have to cross the train line at some point so we've got a level crossing we've got stop signs now i also have to confess i don't know what those little objects are you see there's little objects next to the train line there i don't actually know what they are perhaps you can tell me but the squid port next to the road with those stop signs with those little objects it's it's a level crossing it's brilliant it's one of those things you don't even need to kind of say oh what's he doing with those decorations um you just look at it and go you know that is um, superb. That is really, really good idea, and I can't wait to get cracking in my... I mean, hopefully you're getting this feeling as well, you know, the I can't wait to get cracking um, in this um, design. Oh, it's probably, it says it's Whacking Day Snakes. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> I wouldn't have known, but the thing is, that's the beauty of it. You know, if I can't actually tell what it actually was, then it clearly works as um, what is as what it's supposed to be now. And then, I'm not finished, there's one more thing he's got here. Okay, we're going to carry on, we're going to carry on, we're going to carry on, we're going to carry on. Up we go past the rest of his city, plus his other designs, and then we get to another train. You see that train there? Okay, I'm not, not going to move up. Just before we get to that train, of course, you know, how's this train going to enter this town? How's this train going to come into this particular world? Well, of course, a train has to come out of a tunnel. So, how cool is that? How cool is that? You know, you, you're feeling finished with the Halloween update, wondering what on earth to do with that um, Mr. Burns... Um, uh, wall thing and you know it's a tunnel it's a train tunnel it's fantastic and by putting half a train in it you know to, uh, by putting in half a train um, it really does look like it is um, coming out of that tunnel um, really so very really, really well so there's just tons there so so Ipinieno, I think um, you know you've you've it was, it was your design in the first place to have the train track you've you've gone absolutely to town with it and putting it stretching across the whole thing you've got the level crossing you've got the beautiful train design you've got the tunnel I think um, for me I think this is my design of the week, and because it's my design of the week, means I'm going to give you. You're, you're in the chat as well tonight, so I'm going to give you some even more um, bonus Addy Gold um, for having my design of the week. So here's ten for you. Um, so thank you um, so much. Um, if you want to um, put some um, ratings for this design um, in in the um, in the chat, go for it. But to be honest, if you're not putting ten out of ten, then what is wrong with you? Um, because it's just, it's just amazing. It's just a brilliant, brilliant um, 
design. Um, PG tips. I saw you the first time, but I didn't answer the question because um, I told when I if I if I add people for the streams, or then I have to delete them later to make room. Um, so it's not a permanent ad. So no, I don't have room. Sorry. Um, if you're um, so. Um, but please don't ask questions um, over and over. Um, sometimes I choose not to answer them because I don't want to kind of blatantly want to say in the middle of the stream, I took you off, but I did, and you asked again, so I took you off. Um, there we are. Right. Okay. Well, uh, we have our. Con I do have a few more trains to show. In fact, I was going to show uh, Owens and I was going to show Tahitos, um, but I can always show them next week. We can carry on with the trains thing because I think there's more. Don't you think there's more to go here with the planes and trains? You know, I want to see some more planes and trains, and I hope this has inspired you. Um, to, to to get cracking. So here we go. This is um, this is uh, Bretus Lettuce or Home, Homer Simps 28. Um, hopefully we'll be able to go and visit his town straight away. This is our raffle winner for tonight. So congratulations um, to Bretus, who has also been a uh, you know he's been on the chat an awful lot um, uh, for the last for the last couple of weeks or so. So it's great to have such a kind of a, a loyal following. I really appreciate it. So we're going to have a little look around his town. Um, and if you guys want to give some suggestions for things. You like things you think he's done well and things he can improve. Um, so I'm assuming he's a he, just from the name Brettus, but if not, then do do tell me otherwise. Um, but let's have a little look around. Let's start over here. What have we got? Oh, it goes, it goes round in a little circle. He's bought his way around the edge. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, we've got Cump Crusty. So we've got this kind of wood area type here. Um, works really, really nicely, actually, this, this kind of wooded zone um, going all the way from Camp Crusty. Um, then through to the freak show, um, and then the, the haunted house area. This is really nice. He's obviously kind of chosen the buildings that he felt it would be like um, lost, uh, lost in the in the uh, lost in the woods. And um, um, Phoenix Noble, um, don't think we're going to have time for me to put together an airport tonight. Um, there's just so many good designs, to be honest. Um, by the way, we're going to be playing. Um, I just saw Bishy appear in the chat there. We're going to be playing Speedrunners um, in about five minutes' time. Where, um, if you didn't see Speedrunners last week, there's going to be, we're going to have three of us this time. Um, it's going to be frantic multiplayer action. So stick around after the after the stream um, for some Speedrunners if you want to see me playing something a little bit different um, with Bishy and um, hopefully Cytrix as well. Uh, what else have we got here? Oh, nicely decorated um, mansion there. Oh, like nice use of statue in the front. I'm I'm. I'm impressed with the quality of your city, Brettus. Um, is because it, it's always a little bit of a lottery when when you kind of go to people's towns in 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 the middle of a stream that we haven't seen before because you never quite know what you're going to get. But there's some really nice touches, some great varieties of decorations. You know, red walls, lovely placed bench and and graffiti there. Uh, a good Springfield Downs, although I do think Springfield Downs always need a, uh, you know, the seating. You know, if you look at my show on it, we did, uh, we talked about getting that raised seating going up, and I do think that works really, really nicely. Um, but what you've done with it is good, but possibly could be a bit better. Um, you've bought weird parts of this town, like you've gone like all the way down. <laughs> this is so bizarre. Look at this. He's like bought down here and round here and out here, but he that he hasn't bought all of this. <laughs> It's so eclectic and cool and different. It's lovely. A uh, few little houses poked around here. Some nice decorations at the back of houses. Cool. There are swings and um, and trees and uh, uh, and and things like that. Um, oh, this is nice. This is one of the things that um, I always thought Mel Designer uh, went did really, really well. Um, it's just that just just on occasion, Mel Designer would have building, 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 and then just have a strip of flowers, you know, with roads around it. And 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 it's exactly, it's what Brettus has done here with trees. And I think it all it's really works really well. And it's actually quite important because it stops your building just becoming like a building, 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 basically, and, and helps to break up the monotony of just build of one similar design. Um, after the other. So just having that little patch of trees there or a little patch of flowers really helps to kind of break things up and um, stop the design looking um, bland. And uh, he's, in fact, he's used the same trick here actually as well. You can see with the flowers and the flags. And I think it works. It's something I want to, I, something I've never really kind of got to grips with in my designing and I, I would like to because I think it, um, I think it's effective. Um, do we have a squid port? We do have the beginnings of a squid port. It looks like there's a lot more to do here with the squid port. So obviously this will be something he'll be working on in the future once uh, we get a bit more of these kind of few squares unlocked. So definitely that would be an area um, for development. But this is a um, this is a very well put together 
um, little town, Brettus. I am, I am impressed. Um, if you guys would like to give some comments about the town, you know, if there's things you've seen here you've liked, or things you think here that Brettus um, could improve, looks like we've got a little mini love park there. <laughs> I'm sure Kay would be pleased. Um, oh, and a few of the um, the Valentine's Day buildings here as well, the uh, Howard's Flowers and the Phineas and uh, and uh, things like that. Oh, and a nice use of the uh, the balloons there to go into the Krusty Loo Studios. Uh, but that's a very good use of balloons. I like that actually. And the the cannon in the, in the middle, just to make sure that anyone that comes in um, gets told <laughs> gets told where to go. Very very good, Brettus. Um, I will. Th and thank you for letting me show your town um, as well. And um, congratulations on winning the raffle. There's some good stuff here. All right. Okay, so that is the end of the Simpsons Tapped Out live stream for today. Planes and trains. I've got more trains. I want, I'm, I've got two other good train designs I'm going to show you, so I will save them for um, next... Uh, I'm going to save them for next week because I do want to show them off. Um, if you want to know what I'm going to be doing in advance of next week's stream, then you need to head over to the Tapped Out forum or tappedout.co.uk. Remember, if you're looking for friends, then head over to Tapped Out Friends page um, on Facebook. Oh, and... Um, and all the other sites that I go to as well because they're just generally awesome.